Um, hi, my name is Jesse, and I've known Sean all of his life, and I've probably mentioned it at every possible opportunity for the last 20 years, <laughs> with all my stories. But still, when I'm thinking about what to say today, I found it tricky to capture that, what my heart says when it looks at you, Sean. It's not easy, but I'm going to do my best. Sean came into my life when I was still grappling just to understand myself. A sunny-haired boy with the cutest little pumpkin pie face you'd ever want to see. He absolutely stole my heart. One of the things I frequently mention whenever I can arrest an audience um, is that I was delighted that his mother, Brianna, would let me swipe him, just borrow him for a little bit and play pretend and every once in a while to his little toddler self. And I was awfully proud because I could pop up from the side of the car and see him in the car seat who would beam the biggest smile at me and I thought myself the cleverest soul. But the truth is, he was as easy to please as he was to love. And that really was no big part for me. He could smile like the radiance of the sun and turn my world to pure light with a snap of fingers. He's a beautiful boy. Over the years, I didn't see him constantly, but I was certainly around enough to feel protective and perhaps a little possessive. I did not raise him or guide him through life to become the handsome and soulful person he is today, but I like to think we share a funky little bond that's all our own. So, while he may grimace about my camera always being in his face, or develop strain from trying not to roll his eyes during my 75th telling of our fun over the years, or perhaps should seek chiropractic care from my unwarranted football checks to his shoulder, <laughs> Uh, I hope he knows that I really, genuinely, unabashedly love him. I was privileged to be in the room more than once when Sean's grandfather, Tom Creary, prayed for him, calling for blessings from heaven over his life and protection of his beautiful, soft heart. Today, we are all privileged to witness the answer to those prayers as we behold and celebrate this extraordinary couple, Whitney and Sean. Next page. <laughs> My time with these two is much rarer than I would have liked, but life has a way of forcing us along a speeding current that keeps us each in our own boats and on courses that don't connect often enough. But one does not need oceans of time together to bear witness to the vastness of love between these two. They bring the best out of one another, and they shine as the best versions of themselves within their coupling. They are already doing the hard work of marriage, Hey you, kid of mine, cut it out. <laughs> They're already doing the hard work of marriage by honestly sharing their hearts, asking the tough questions, searching for the answers to life together, standing beside each other no matter what, and plumbing the depths to be as close as two can be. Whitney puts a light inside of Sean that wasn't there before she came into his life. When he looks at her, the whole world is in his eyes. This is what comes from finding your person, your home, and it's a beautiful home it is. So, Sean and Whitney, today we celebrate your union, and we rejoice that you found one another in this crazy world. May you realize the unparalleled blessing of your union, and always know that you are not only blessed, but also worthy. Believe it. You deserve every good thing that life has to offer. May this day be but a drop in a life filled to overflowing with abundant blessings. I love you.